Singer-songwriter Josh Fontaine's probably best known for his work with local outfit The Stick Figures, but lately he's been out in the scene doing his solo thing. Shifty caught up with him at the amplifier. Let's have a look. I just wanted to firstly ask, ask you, Josh, you're, you're known for your work with the, the stick figures and you've launched uh, a solo project as part of a sabbatical, if you like. Yeah, and, um, it's beautiful, that. And I've just wondered how difficult it is as a performer to make that transition between playing in a, in a group and then bearing your soul on stage solo. Um, yeah, I sort of liken um, playing with the stick figures to being in the army, you know, I mean, in a, in a respectful way, you know, um, if, if the stick figures are the army, then I suppose playing solo is like being in the boys' brigade, you know, where songs go through a transitionary period, you know, like I introduce new songs as a solo dude and um, they become men and and when they're men, they, they're in the army with the stick figures. When he's at work, will you touch yourself? Would I be beneath you when your body bursts with the song that all me? Basically, um, songs come to me uh, like Michael Jackson, unfortunately. Um, they come to my head like I'll be walking down you know, the street to the shops and um, and, I, and suddenly, I, for sheer example's sake, I um, get a melody in my head and, and sometimes it works and sometimes it sounds like the cars or something like that or like some um, you know, late 70s band or something like Boston and it just doesn't, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely melody but it just doesn't necessarily work for me. Uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you know, I get like a melody in my head and then I try and repeat it to myself. I keep singing to it if I'm on a bus or something, I'll keep singing it in my head and then um, hopefully I get to a guitar in time and, um, you know, and hopefully it works out into a song. Watching the set, it, it did actually feel, you know, very emotional, you know, and, and that's that's kind of the amazing thing is the ability to kind of connect with, with, with the audience, you know. I mean, how, how important is it for you to get that kind of feeling back off the crowd and for it to be reciprocated? The fact that people would actually come out, you know, and they'd get off their internet, they'd get away from their TVs, and come listen to you play a song. I mean, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, they don't have to. They're paying, you know, forking out money, you know, from their hard-earned cash. They might be working 50 hours, or they might be a student getting, you know, thank God, some welfare. It's a wonderful thing to be able to connect to an audience, and uh, um, and you hope you can because, you know, they're they're friends you haven't met yet when they're listening to you or maybe getting into something. I mean. People can be really beautiful, and the fact that they're listening to your ramblings is a wonderful thing, you know. Could you 